Hey guys, welcome back to the Mini Machine Shop. I'm Dave. I just wanted to shoot a quick video here to address a comment that was made on uh, my last video. So let me bring you over to the bench here and show you some stuff. Alright, here we are in the bench. And uh, the last video was done because of I was trying to remake this part here out of steel and I had everything done except for the nut. And what I did was, you know, I came down, touched the surface, brought it down five thousandths more, and I'm just going zzz, cut, zzz, cut, and I come here, and it didn't even touch the part. So I'm going, great, something's off. I knew this spindexer was good, but, yeah, as an engineer, I'm going to investigate and play with things until I understand it and beat it to death. So that's what you saw in the last video was me playing around with the ER32 chuck, call it chuck, uh, it came out of the indexer, but I went through the indexer and checked all that and you know, Also partly I'm trying to figure out you know what I can trust in the in the shop and what I can't trust and I know I've got a good gauge block. I've got a good granite surface uh, so on and so forth, but um, What happened what I found out was the problem was the collet and I'll explain that um, This is a collet that goes into the mini mill and this is a half inch cutter and when you put it together yeah you gotta push it in there I mean it fits tight so when you clamp on it you are clamping the entire cutter here and whatever run out there is would be a result of either cutter or the collet but this is a collet that came yeah I guess it came with the indexer but you put this guy in here and you go not a good collet and the reason is if you look at how it works when you put this in here and you tighten it it's tightening here it's not doing anything back here and I'll give you an extreme example of it this really isn't a half inch this is metric but yeah it's it's real sloppy and what happens is you're clamping here but the back can be any place it wants and that's what was going on the collet was really bad um, that was in there. Uh, it was a, it's truly a one inch <coughs> ER32 chuck, but the collet was oversized quite a bit. So it was leaning like that, and that's what gave me the problem on it. Um, so now looking at the ER32, I started investigating that. And if you look at how this is made, where the cuts are in it, this is when this is pushed in. It's clamping here and here. This part is also shrinking down. So these are really good. You can put any size you want in these. And if you can clamp down enough to hold it, you know you're holding it straight. I could probably, no, this isn't for this size. but So that was, that was curious. But then I'm thinking, you know, what are the tolerances to the cutters? How are they machining them? So I brought out the machinery handbook. And started looking for the cutters and stuff, and it's real interesting right here. They talk, um, for instance, here's a quarter inch, cutter diameter a quarter inch, and they talk, talk about the shank, what size the shank is. And there's the notes down here for the tolerance. Uh, the shank could be minus a half a thousand. There's nothing here about plus. So a quarter inch could be a, a half inch shank. And it's intolerance. <laughs> then I started micrometering all my um, all my cutters and stuff like that and they're all within tolerance. Some of them are under by a couple of tenths of a thousandth and some of them are over by a couple of tenths of a thousandth so they're really good but then I got to this guy he's under by three thousandths so this is a worthless thing. Well I could put it in my ER32's and it'll work but I cannot put this guy in here. It should really wobble, really. Yep, hear it? It's wobbling all over the place. So I can't use this in this type of collet. Even this one, I think, is not going to... Oh, no, it fits tight in here. Wow, this is like... Holds everything. Uh, 
And then it also had me thinking, it's like, whoa, the fly cutter I made, am I with intolerance? And yeah, I am. I'm over by two thousandths, but it should work in any collet. Hey, was it going to work in this one? Yep, it'll work in this one. It's tight. This one's going to be real tight in, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't even try it. So, that's a kick. There is a missing spec. They should have specced plus and minus. They should have at least said minus a half a thousand plus zero. Or plus two or something like that. But Interesting. Just wanted to share that with everybody and let you know. And go ahead and start measuring and micrometering all your stuff.